it does seem about once a year or so I get a question from a client that says, hey, what's going to keep that bolt from falling and unlocking automatically? So imagine a single door or most typically a pair of doors. You've got a pair of doors, you've got an active door, and then you've got an inactive door. And there's a surface bolt that's been installed to the face of the inactive door. One up at the top and let's say one down at the, the bottom of the door. So what prevents that bolt over time just falling out of the keeper up top and becoming unlocked? Or when the bolts are unlocked, what prevents the bottom bolt from just falling down into the strike area um, or coming down and then resting and someone pulling that door open and it gouging the floor? All surface bolts have some means of friction that's happening, some mechanism by which it's occurring. This happens to be a Rockwood 585. When I went to the shelf to just pull a surface bolt, this is the first one I found. Doesn't matter that it's commercial in nature and can be padlocked, in fact. It really doesn't matter um, because it has the equipment that I've said that they all have, and that is some type of restrictor plate or spring that's in here, either metal or plastic. And what this is basically doing is it's a piece of it's a piece of spring steel that's keeping the guide and the bolt itself together. Now, I don't know how much force it takes to pull this guide, but I can tell you it takes not insignificant force to move that. I don't know how many pounds, not many, but a couple of pounds. And the fact of the matter is if I hold the two guides, I can't get the bolt to move. It, it just it's not going to move. It doesn't creep. Well, actually, it's restricted here. It just doesn't creep. I'm moving it because I'm able to move it. You know, so you don't have the problem of it actually falling. They don't, and it's because of that spring that's in there. Um, we can see a little bit better here because it separates up here. And right inside of there, because of the concave shape of that spring, it's constantly making contact with the back side of the bolt. That's evidenced by the wear mark that's here. Just me sliding it back and forth has created that wear mark. Now you never see it because it's facing the face of the door, but that's what prevents bolts from creeping down, from creeping down, from you know going into an orientation that they're not intended to go at that uh, particular time. Whether it be commercial bolts, residential bolts by any manufacturer when it's a surface bolt like that something will restrict them bolts like this have a piece of hardware the Ives 30 series which they may have mostly discontinued the modern very thin petite they made two inch three inch four inch five inch six inch for sure there's a manufacturer maybe IDH has them even longer they're neat because they're really petite they might be 9 16 wide and maybe 7 16 thick, or at the most, maybe 3 8 um, Those are two pieces of machined brass, so they inherently don't slide very much uh, without you intending to move it, but that's how it works. If you have any questions on how hardware works, by all means, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.